Hey guys, uh, yeah, I was doing some videos about how to remove this at the start, but uh, unfortunately my camera did not save all the videos that I have. So I'm just gonna be uh, showing you how I um, started out uh, trying to get this uh, trying to get this piston pin out because currently now it's it's current because it was stuck. Currently now it's still stuck. So um. What you gonna be needing? Uh, what I did is uh, just gonna be you're gonna need this, this uh, washer here. This, the size of this uh, washer is smaller compared to the pin, so I know that it won't be scratching the uh, connecting rod inside. So with that, I'll just use it this way. Put this washer inside, and then afterwards. Your connecting rod, let's just imagine that your connecting, your connecting rod is here. So I'll put this from here from this side. Okay, so you can see it's not going to be touching anything except for the space, uh, except for the piston pin inside. So uh, we want to get this out, right? This pin. So what I, need, what I do, what I did is um, I look for a, a socket that I have laying around. I think I used the 21 or the 14, but uh, for this example, I'll be using the 21. Uh, so 21 does not work. Let me get my 14. I think I used a 14. Okay, moving on. Okay, let's say that um, you want to remove the pin, right? So we're just going to insert this one here on this side or whichever side you like. And then just find a nut, uh, find a socket that would fit inside without jamming the pin inside the piston pin so I use the uh, initially I used the 14 so I'm sure that's not gonna hit inside and then I use another washer a big one okay, as you can see and then a small washer that fits the uh, the bolt that I have and then a nut. Another uh, 10 millimeter nut and also my bolt is a uh, 10 millimeter. So what you're gonna do is you have to put this one from here on this side and then this here okay and start wrenching okay and eventually the pin will slowly come out just keep doing this and then until the pin comes out okay so i found this uh, spacer here that i got from my old bike uh, from a triumph 1050 you know for the front uh, front wheel spacer i think so i'm just gonna be since this is a, look at this hole you can see the hole there that's enough that's a big enough and then it's a big enough gap and I think that will be enough to get it out from that connecting rod. Okay, so basically what we'll do is, uh, sorry about the movement of the camera. Uh, okay, so here's a nut that I got from the, from the axle here, engine, ax engine mount, mount axle. So we'll, we'll do it like this. So since this one is a, uh, since the spacer won't, uh, uh, since the spacer won't fit here, because the hole is too big, so I'm just gonna be using this one as a spacer, and then with that, I'll use this here, and then use the smaller one, which I don't know where it is. Ah, here it goes, like this. And then the nut. Okay. And then we'll continue on wrenching until we we can get it off. Alright. Okay, I got it all in place as you can see here. I know it doesn't look good, but it does the job. So we'll just continue on wrenching. And hopefully it just it's gonna be go out and don't worry 
the the 10mm that I do have there does not hit the the connecting rod, so it's not doing any scratches on it inside. So I'm, I'm quite in a luck since it's not doing anything. It's not scratching the thing. So let's see, as you can see, it's slowly getting in there, slowly but surely. I'm no longer using this one though, since it's already been locked. Okay, I get a feeling that it's almost out. Ah, there you go. It's almost there, almost out. Oh, it's already out. Yeah, it's, all, it's already out. So, I'm just gonna reverse this. Okay. this process here it's, it's quite hard to film at the same time hold the camera ah. <laughs> okay let's see there's any damage nah, it's all good okay now to find a piston and you set the piston piston ring and a piston pin okay hopefully this helped you in a way if you don't have any special tools or whatnot that's another way to get it out for the for a piston pin piston pin which is stuck Thank you for watching.